Hi dear friends, welcome to Top Education. In this session, we will learn Ek Kahani Abhi by Manu Bhandari, which is an autobiography. So let's begin with it. Manu Bhandari was born in Madhya Pradesh in Banupur Ga a village, and later her father got transferred. Uh, because of financial problem, they transferred to Indore and there they lived in a duplex house where the first floor was occupied by his father and the ground floor was occupied by the family, means mother and children. Often, Manu Bhandari was compared with her bigger sister Shushila by his father. And next, the father did not like Manu Bhandari because she was in a black in color and very slim. On the other hand, Sushila was a white in girl. She had a color of white in it. So, white color attracts father more. Now, let's uh, speak about their childhood. Now, while childhood, Manu Bhandari played many games like uh, Pakadam Pakadai, uh, Chupa Chupi, Gudde Gudio Ki Shadi and many more like Langdi Tang, uh, Gilli Danda, Patang, many things and the house was not only a four side wall but it was covered with a colony. Hall had a good relationship but now in but now what is happening is they have forgotten their uh, uh, what they say pados culture like near uh, neighborhood culture so what happened is after many years Manu Bhandari's sisters and brothers went outside for higher educations and all and last only the mother and Manu Bhandari were left and father. So Manu Bhandari's father got in concentration. So he also concentrated on Manu Bhandari and he developed her. Manu Bhandari was passed 10th standard and moved towards 11th standard and got a good teacher named as Sheila Agrawal. She taught him about literature, about poems, about poet. She picked out some books and gave to Manu Bhandari to read. So this was a good, she was a good teacher, enough to give him a push towards society. On the other hand, the father of Manu Bhandari uh, uh, gave permission to Manu Bhandari to sit with him and the debate which was gone in his house was noted by Manu Bhandari. Okay, now what like what type of uh, debates that means they like at uh, 1947s there were freedom fighters so they had a great debate great topics so by this only Manu Bhandari got a power and she moved out of the house and started strikes on the roads for many things and she was appreciated by Dr. Ambalal by Dr. Ambalal and Dr. Ambalal came to Manu Bhandari's house and gave encouraged her father that Manu Bhandari is a good. She had uh, speak without fear. She was good. On the other hand, a bad friend of Manu Bhandari's father came and gave bad words about Manu Bhandari like saying, how can you send her out with those bad boys? You should maintain the distance between house and society. So, Manu Bhandari's father was angry. But after coming Ambalal, he was happy. He was too happy. So, this was word said by her mother to Manu Bhandari. So, Manu Bhandari said, Ha, it's okay. 
Ambalal saved me. If not, my father was not letting me out to go to debates and all. So next other point is she started a struggle strike on roads. No. So a letter came from principal that they are rusticating. They are giving Tasi to Manu Bhandari. So what did Manu Bhandari is? She started strike against school only. Yeah. She star sat many days near uh, her college. She was finishing her 11th and 12th. So she sat beside the gate of college and did strike with her friends. And her friends also were rusticated. So what happened is many days the college was stopped because if Manu Bhandari say anything to their friends, they will struggle. They will start a big strike regarding to college. So this was a point view of principal. So he kept uh, holidays and 1947 we all Indians got our freedom. So at that day only there the Manu Bhandari got her education. She started to go to college. College door were opened in 1947. This was the story an autobiography of Manu Bhandari. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, like, share, comment. Thank you. Top Education.